In this video, we are going to look at how to diagnose and fix uh, one corridor issue specifically related to the intersections and on most of the computers that I've seen it on so far. Now, this is my drawing here with my intersection, and this is what your intersection should look like if it was all completed correctly. Now, I'm not saying you did anything wrong, however, um, it's, it's a pairing Civil 3D is stretching the sidewalk lines instead of targeting the road. And it's going to stretch the sidewalk lines to another part of the drawing. Uh, I'll go to a drawing and show you what it's going to look like. But this is what your corridor intersection should look like when all is said and completed and done. Now the other video shows you how to fix this if, if it's extra wide. However, I'm going to first take a quick look at my assembly for my curb return rights. And I'm going to show you guys all the options here. So we can go and take a look at yours and see if um, if yours match what I have here. Short of our 2017 and right, all the numbers here are for my urban sidewalk for a residential street. So again, just confirm yours. Here's my curb and gutter, Valley 1, numbers. And here's my road piece numbers. Now again, the width of the road doesn't matter due to it being stretched automatically. So when we apply this assembly, and it's easy to see on my drawing here when I freeze a couple of these surface layers and points, the assembly should track along the edge of this curb and the road should target the center line offset, the center line of the residential road and the 9.45 meter offset from our primary collector. So you'll notice that it's just building this little triangle in here. Now on a, on some of your drawings, let me switch over to this one. When you build the intersection, even though you follow the steps, it does this. So the road piece is here. However, the road piece is not targeting this and Civil 3D is actually having the sidewalk target this center line. And you can see, here's your sidewalk line. There's your other sidewalk line. There's the back of sidewalk. I do not know why it's doing this and it's doing it really weirdly everywhere else. But again, not a super huge deal to fix. It's just going in manually changing some of the targets. So to fix this, and um, we'll fix both of these sides, and then we'll fix this side because the steps are slightly different for this side of the road. So we're going to start with this left intersection. Now only do this if you have this problem. If your intersection looks like mine, and you have no overlapping corridor line work, uh, freeze, freeze the alignments off, you have no overlapping cyan lines from your corridor, you can assume all is good. So nothing here overlaps, nothing causes an issue. Whereas we see here, we have these cyan lines here overlapping. So to fix this, we go into corridor properties. So we select our intersection and go into corridor properties. We then utilize the quick display to find the one we need to fix. So if you click on uh, the first one, it should highlight this dialogue, this little uh, section of the corridor. Now we need to go into the targets of this. And as we see in this targets box, offset target of inside boulevard width, we do not want the boulevard to stretch. We need the lane super elevation to stretch. So I have no reason why it's stretching this one. However, we need to manually tell it to do this one now. So we need to go into where it says varies here. Select both of these and remove them. Hit OK. Come down here to Urban Sidewalk. Select both of these and remove them and hit OK. So effectively, we've cleared this dialog box out. We have cleared the stretching out. I'll just hit OK, OK, and rebuild just to show you that it no longer stretches to the center line on the sidewalk bits. Back into Corridor Properties. Back into the Targets. My width target for lane super elevation AOR is the one I want to switch. So 
width target where it says none. Now we need to add two to this one to make it stretch properly. And if you remember from removing them, we removed two. So as long as you name things correctly and you built the intersections correctly, this is or, uh, in the same order, this is a pretty straightforward process. Now, the first thing I want to target is Teradale Way. So I want to target that center line. So I'm going to select Teradale Way. And again, whatever you named your internal loop subdivision road, select that one. I'm also going to select 64th Avenue Northeast Extension left my uh, 9.45. Now, it could be either one of these depending on which intersection you built first. If you built the southwest one first, it won't have a bracket behind it. If you built the southeast intersection first, that would be this one. So again, as long as you remember which one you built first, you could select the proper one. Now, the left and right is also important. So our alignment runs from this side of the screen straight to the east to this side of the screen. So if we are driving down that center line, this is the left side of the road, this is the right side of the road. So again, keep in mind that direction is very important. So I'm gonna select my 64th Avenue Northeast extension left minus 9.45 alignment. Civil 3D would have built these already, so don't worry that you didn't build them. And then I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go into my outside elevation target and I'm also going to select Teradale Way, my Teradale Way design. So I want it to target the elevation of the residential road. Oh, sorry. And I also want to select the 64th Avenue Northeast Extension left 9.45. And the, the, the profile that Civil 3D built for you when you made the intersection. We're going to add that. We're going to hit OK. We're going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit OK and rebuild to show you that Civil 3D has redone this intersect or the corner of this intersection. So we're targeting the center line and we're targeting this offset 9.45 meter alignment. So if I click on this one, this is one of the ones Civil 3D has made. You guys can see up here in the in the ribbon that it's named 64th Avenue Northeast Extension left 9.45. So again, the steps are the exact same for the for the northwest corner of this intersection as well. So let's go ahead and fix that. In the corner of properties, it's this piece, however, we want to fix. I'm going to switch the targets, go and remove the urban sidewalk pieces, go and add a width target. So again, we want to target the 64th Avenue 9.45 and the Teradale Way. Again, the order you add these two in doesn't matter. Civil 3D will figure it out. I'm also gonna Teradale Way Design and 64th Avenue 9.45. Okay, 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 rebuild. And it has fixed that piece of the intersection as well. Now off to the Southeast intersection. The numbers on this are slightly different, and we also have to remember that it's a different alignment. So I'm going to click on this alignment here. This is the 9.45 bracket 1. So again, go into corridor properties, and I want to fix this one first into the targets. Clear out my two sidewalk pieces. Clear out these two sidewalk pieces. My width target will be 64th Avenue North Extension left 9.45 bracket 1 and also Teradale Way. And then my outside elevation targets, 64th Avenue Extension, 9.45 bracket 1, Teradale Way design. Okay, 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 rebuild. And Rebuild and exit the command every single time so you can actually see what you've done and that it has actually fixed it the proper way. And finally, I'm going to do this last piece, corridor properties. 
that one here. Remove. Remove the sidewalks. Back into width. Clear way. 9.45 bracket one on 64th Avenue. Elevation. 9.45 bracket one and Terradale Way design. So again, I, I have no clue why Civil 3D is is messing up and targeting the center line of the rest of the subdivision with the sidewalk line, where in reality it should be building it like this. Again, when I went in and redid this in my drawing, it worked just fine. There was no stretching out to the center line over here. I tested this in this drawing and it stretched out there. So I don't know if it's something drawing specific or it has to do with updates or whatnot, but there's just general things. Take a look, figure out what's happening, try and try and fix it and diagnose it. So that is fixing the stretching in, all you're really doing is remapping the two targets on the intersections. So I don't think it's happening to this one as well, but if it is, the same general steps apply.